All right, we are rolling. Um, we are in, and we got our dash GPS. So I don't know what's better over here for everyone. Since it's a vehicle with kilometers, um, I like bringing this thing. Get some readout for everybody. So we are in a Land Rover Defender 110. Uh, one of the things they did change on it, as soon as this push button start, so you let the glow plugs light up, hit the button. Um, I just have the radio face plate off to keep it off so it doesn't boot up. And we are relit up here. It tells us voltage 12.5, tells us direction, and we should get GPS speed of miles per hour out of it. We'll see what. That's just audible. I've been using that thing a lot recently. Uh, so you have a brake light on and parking brake, which should shut off with the brake, which it does. That was a cold start. It's been sitting out here. I moved it earlier, but it's been in place since then. Um, they did do a little custom center console. You got a little map light. That was just their preference. Uh, you can hear it spools real nicely. We did a bunch of maintenance to it. I do have the GoPro attached to the sunroof. And these don't have air conditioning and it is hot in South Carolina. So as it be that it is hot in South Carolina, having the windows down, you might not be able to hear, hear me as well. Um, once we get a little gust of wind, but we'll go tool around in it. So that's your cold start. Um, fuel gauge works. The speed odometer works. I'm not sure how accurate versus mile per hour because it's a 0.62 conversion. And then you can change tires and we'll change it a little bit. Uh, but I do know the fuel gauge works. My wife was daily driving this. Um, they put some aftermarket seats in it. And I actually think they're uh, Renault or Peugeot or something different. Uh, dome light works. It's been working with the doors. I haven't been playing with the CD player too much. Uh, there is this little keypad here that was for an alarm that we removed. There are some speakers in the dash. So it looks like, and what you'll hear is actually the roof rack has a little spinning rod for a kayak. It's like a roller bearing on there. It spins around if you want to put something on there and it'll spin over. Um, it looks, since we're doing 45 and 48 and lower 80s, 88's normally 55, so with a little bit bigger tire than factory, um, it's dialed in pretty good. You know, this one, same owner in France 12 years. He kept it in the garage. He had a solid maintenance schedule. We have good receipts for it. Um, before we even did the maintenance, the good part about it is it was actually pretty dialed in. We were just picky about the maintenance level. So going through it, and you know, I remember replaced the radiator. Uh, if you drove it real hot day, it was starting to overheat some, and the radiator was just getting aged. And you could tell that the cooling fins were breaking down. So we got to look at it, pulled it, put in a new heavy duty radiator. Not something cheap. Uh, your blinkers all work, lights all work. Like I said, my wife was driving it for a couple weeks on a regular basis. It was her daily driver and it started getting hot. Uh, and she's pregnant and we have a few children. So I trusted it with the baby and, and wife and children. Did you hear that roller in the back on the roof rack? Um, this one is running my favorite tire size, which is at 235.85. It's a little bit of height, not too wide, so it rubs on the trailer and arms. Uh, let's see, what else? It does have a snorkel on it. It has that very unique, I believe it was an Italian company roof rack. And a little GPS unit fell. But yeah, these are utilitarian vehicles. It's all pretty basic. Crank windows, manual locks. Um, Sun visors are in good shape, which isn't normal. Um, all the interior plastics, you have rear cargo load space seats. You have a rear seat. And then if somebody really wanted it, we could get a set of front seats that actually matches the whole cab on the interior instead of these aftermarket or secondhand. You know, they, they were pulled out of a different car. I actually prefer these seats. They're comfortable. I don't mind driving this one. Um, it does have the LED running lights on it. it has a winch bumper which is well sorted the winch controllers in the middle console let's see we'll run through the wipers I've been using the blinkers and 
that's just the return on the wiper. Yeah, the squirter works. So I was shifting there right at 40 to hit fourth gear. Uh, the wipers are, they're gear driven, so there's a cable that goes through with two gear boxes at each one. Pretty rudimentary, some old technology. Uh, you have a glass break down here on the fuse box, that's kind of typical they carry it overseas. Uh, there you go, your horn works. There's the rear wiper. just runs smooth. I start off in second gear there. Probably should use no oh, I do have a plate drawn. Yeah I'm not heavy in the throttle at all. Quality. 